water. It's so shiny, like a mirror. But where are all the animals? I'll send the probes to go and look. Today, I think we're in for a surprise. That was quick. Bouncing bananas. It's not a whale or a fish. It's a hippopotamus. A hippo what? A hippopotamus. A word in the Greek language. It means river horse. But it doesn't look much like a horse. Well, that's its name. Now, if it was a water elephant... Whoa! Whee! <laughs> nice flying! What a beautiful bird! Yes, it's a fish eagle. My goodness! Look at the size of them! Over three tons of hippo. If they're that heavy, why don't they sink? Hippos don't float. They stand on the waterbed with their eyes, ears and nose above the surface. Doesn't their skin get all wrinkly underwater? No. In fact, it cracks if it's too dry. Do you mean they spend most of their life bathing in a lake? Or a river, yes. How do they breathe underwater? They don't. They hold their breath and come up for air. But doesn't water get in their noses when they go under? Amazingly not. Like their ears, their nose is shut as soon as they're covered by water. And how long can they hold their breath for? Usually three to five minutes, but sometimes as long as half an hour. It's as if they're on holiday, lazing in the pool. Life is one long holiday if you're a hippo. Jumping jellies! That's a big baby. Well, he has a big mum. Even so, look at the size of him. And just like their parents, they're well adapted to the water. Now that's what I call a mouthful. The little ones start eating solids, like grass and dry leaves, from one month old. Serious grazing begins at five months. Adults can mow down 40 kilograms of grass nightly. You need all the solids you can get to support that size frame. Fancy a flip? Aye, aye, Captain. Watch this. Yee-haw! Yee Fantastic! Hippo's yawn is a show of strength. The wider their yawn and the bigger their teeth, the more impressive they look. What are those little birds up to? Those are oxpeckers. They feed on hippo's skin. Ugh! Who wants to eat that? Oxpeckers do and obviously enjoy it. But it's got to hurt. Probably, but the hippos aren't complaining. Weird. I mean, oxpeckers are birds. Birds eat worms, not water horses. Someone's had a little too much sun. Or enough of being pecked to pieces. No, she's just tired. Taking a break before the long night of grazing. Oh, so they feed at night? Feed at night and rest during the day. Now you see that hippo taking a gentle stroll? Do they ever get much beyond a stroll? Yes, up to 45 kilometres an hour if they're in a hurry. What? Seriously? Oh, yes. No slouching around when a hippo's in full flight. Well, this little one looks a little lazy. Whoa! <laughs> back up! Back up! That was a little too close for comfort. Hippos seem harmless, but they pack a lot of punch with their weight. The lake's big enough for all of them. So what's there to squabble about? The usual things. They're just making sure everybody behaves themselves. There they go yawning again. And nudging and bumping and jaw-chewing if they have to. I suppose if I was underwater all day, I'd also get a little irritable once in a while. Let's get a close-up of those amazing jaws. Cheese! What a shot! Now, earlier, you said they sink. So how do they swim underwater? They don't. They run along the bottom of the lake like ballerinas. Ballerinas? <laughs> yes, on the tips of their toes. Uh-oh, we've got company. Crocodiles are no match for a hippo. In these waters, size counts. So hippos have nothing to be afraid of, then? Not from other animals. But without water, they could be in trouble. So as long as it's raining and the rivers are flowing, hippos are happy and free. Pretty much. Well, that deserves a photograph. Let's find a spot to land. 
Better make it quick, Ed. The sun's setting fast. One shot is all I need. Right. One hippo coming up. Ed! Coming! Whoa! This picture's no good. We've got to go back. Sorry, Ed, but we've run out of time. Please, one more. It'll only take a second. Ed! Please! Please! Oh, one second, Ed, and no more. Thank you, thank you, thank you! One fabulous shot of a hippo is all I need. Come on, Ed, it's getting dark. One yawn. I need one amazing yawn. Hmm, not quite. Hey, somebody out there, give me a real yawn! Bravo! I got it, I got it, I got it! The perfect shot is always worth waiting for. Just like the perfect sunset. And the perfect adventure. Now, on to the next one! <laughs>